Hello, and today we're going to talk about how to build a 2016 server. Um, so I have um, VM Fusion, VMware Fusion on my Mac. So I want to build a 2016 server. Uh, so I wanted to show you guys how to create that VM and how to make it part of your infrastructure. I already have a domain controller and SCCM, Citrix, and WSUS and what have you. But today I'm going to show you how to just create and build a 2016 server. Um, now you'll see once you, um, you need to download the ISO file from Microsoft. Um, you know, it'll give you like a six month evaluation version. So you download the ISO file and you want to create a new virtual machine, which, I, which is what I did here. And then um, I start that virtual machine and then I hit the space bar to, you know, boot from the CD and that'll launch the ISO file. So now what I'm going to do is, um, uh, now what I want to do is there's four options that when you select here, you want to select the desktop experience because that's going to be the GUI interface. If you select the other component, the other option, that'll be your command line interface. Um, so in some cases you want to do that, but for today, I'm going to show you how to do the desktop experience. This will be the GUI interface. You go ahead and click on next. And of course you agree to the terms. And then we're going to go do custom. We're going to do 60 gigs. It's all you really need. Um, you know, it's just OS and patches. And it goes and starts the um, installing process. So I'm going to pause the video right here and come back. Uh, once it's uh, finished installing Windows, it'll go ahead and restart and start loading the um, components here. We'll just give it a second. Now it's getting the devices ready. And this will take a little bit of time. And then it restarts the uh, VM, as you can see. We'll give it a few more minutes. And there it goes, coming up. All right, so I'm gonna give it a password. I thought I was typing, there we go. Whoops, I'll try one more time. There you go, finish. Now it's gonna build a local administrative account. So now what I wanna do is I wanna uh, log in. I'm going to enter that password in. I'm going to bring this up a little bit, make this a little bigger. Oops. And there is your 2016 server environment. It didn't take long. But now I want to add it to my domain. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I already have my domain controller ready. So I want to go ahead and change my name to, uh, let's see, I'm gonna call it win2016 hmm. that's fine, I'm gonna call it win2016 I don't know what I'm gonna use this server for yet so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I like to give it a name first and then restart it and then add it to the domain so when you do that it's the proper way to do it so I'm gonna restart the machine one more time um, and of course, I'll have to restart it again once I add it to the domain. Now, because I'm, I'm setting all my servers as a static, now you can uh, use your DHCP and do an IP reservation. Uh, but since it's a small lab, I just, I'm going to go ahead and use a static. But in a production environment, most likely you'll want to use DHCP reservation for all your servers. Because uh, that way you just manage it through the DHCP console. But for a small lab environment, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and use the static uh, for this. So just see that I'm going to go ahead and log in my password. Now I'm bridging right now. Um, I'm bridging the the um, the internet Ethernet to my Mac right now. Eventually, I'm going to make it static, and then uh, I'll show you another trick to uh, to uh, configure an I, um, DHCP uh, file 
to make it static um, permanently. So anyway, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and close that out. So now I'm going to go ahead and add it to, now what I want to do, before I can add it to the domain, I need to switch to the um, other MAC address, or other VNet. So I created one here called, so it's going to configure that. And what I want to do is take a look and see what um, IP addresses are available so I can set it. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Yes. Now, I'm going to take a look at the command line. So we have 129. We don't want that. So um, I'm going to give it an IP, so I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm at the uh, DHCP server. Well, actually, the DNS. And um, I'm going to give it a static of 168. And I'm going to do 132. And then I'm going to create an associated pointer record. I'm going to add the host. So there we go. I'm done there. And you can see 116. And we want to do the uh, reverse lookup. And then um, there it is. There's your reverse lookup. So 132. That's what we're going to use. So now I'm going to go ahead and give this a static. I'm going to do that. All right, I don't want to do that. 32. Everything else is fine. That's the DNS server. That's the static. Go to advance. That's the domain, that's DNS, okay, so there we go. Now, make sure it's on the uh, IP4, it is, which is fine. Now, the only thing we haven't done here is we haven't installed VMware tools, so we need to do that next. So what I'm going to do is go and... Uh, uh, close this out. There we go. Um, we don't see what's uh, control panel. Um, let's see. We got. There we have three more tools installed. Am I? Oh, I'm not even on the wrong. Oh, hold on. All right. Hold. Right back. Okay. So now I'm back on the uh, 2016 box. I was on the wrong box before. So now I'm going to give this thing uh, static. I'm going to go ahead and disable that. I'm not using IP6. I'll give it a static. 192. That's fine. And then the DNS server. That I'm going to register all this stuff. All right, got that going. We'll go ahead and renew. Oops. Uh, first thing that we need to do, also we need to install the VMware tools. So we're going to go ahead and do that next. That'll help. Okay, now you see it's got a proper IP address, but now we need to install the VMware tool. Make things run a little faster and networking will run better and the graphics will run a little better. So we're going to do that next. And sometimes it takes a moment to load, but I think I'm just going to hurry up and, uh, there we go. I'm going to pause this video and come right back once it's installed. There it goes. Now we're going to go ahead and install VMware tools. And this will take a couple of minutes.
I'm gonna pause. It's taking a little longer than usual, so be right back. All right, so we're back. Uh, it's re it, um, VMware tools has been installed, and so now it's restarted. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add the server to the domain. All right now, I'm gonna log in locally. And once it comes up, I'm gonna add it to the domain. The system. Whoops, that's fine. I'm going to change this. Now we're going to make it to the domain. And if all my networking is set up correctly, I'll get a prompt to log into the domain. So it may take a moment. There you go. And in a moment, it'll say, welcome to the domain. So, and then after that, here we go. And we're going to go ahead and restart. Now, if I go to my domain controller, go to Active Directory Users and Computers, you'll see a computer there that's been added. It's restarting. And then there's the there's server. I'm gonna move this one to the OU that I want. Um, I'll have to figure out what's going on with that one. Um, and there you go. Now we got a brand new Windows 2016. VMware tools install, installed and added to the domain, and now this server is ready to be used for anything I want. Uh, again, thank you for watching the video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like this video, and there will be more coming. So, see you next time. Bye.